Hey, what's up everybody? How's it going? Welcome back to another video. Boozer here. Today's video, we're going to go over one of the biggest surprises for me personally um, from for the live arena. We're going to go over a champion that um, is extremely effective uh, no matter um, what, I guess, stage you are in live arena. And you know what? He is a past fusion, and obviously, and one of the best fusions that ever, uh, ever dropped. So, there is a chance that more people will have him. And this guy is an absolute monster in the arena. So, Helicath. So this is the guy um, that made the block damage comps for Iron Twins and Clan Boss um, readily available to everyone because he was a fusion. Um, champion is just an insane generalist um, carry for most areas of the game. Um, let's go over his kit real quick. He has a double hit, chance to weaken, will ignore shield and block damage. Hits okay, uh, hits decent with this. Uh, his second move, he has a place, um, place a shield buff on the team, attack all enemy AoE. Similar to Valk, except Valk places a counter attack as well as placing a shield. The shield size is also uh, smaller than Valk's, the multiplier. So he's not going to get a, um, as big of a shield as Valkyrie, but it's still going to be a significant um, shield because you're going to stack him with defense. And uh, again, it hits decently hard. His main move will be this A3, which is a four turn cooldown, fully booked, um, full uh, team block damage. Um, on your team for two turns and then it has a passive effect that whenever the block damage placed on an ally by this champion is removed you get to place increased defense on it for two turns so you know it's a little bonus here and his passive his second well his other passive um, this champion's defense uh, increased for five percent for each ally under block damage buff, so plus 20 percent defense uh, and then this is really where a lot of his damage comes from too. Counter attacks with a default skill whenever an ally is hit. So in live arena, you don't have a perfect team a lot of times. And if you pick Helicath in the right spot, you really handcuff your opponent into a hard ban for Helicath or into basically having a very rough match. Um, the counter attacks from Helicath can definitely do a lot of damage. And since they last two turns, it's very hard for opponents to actually do uh, breakthrough or sustain through um, all the counter attacks especially the nukers so um, Hellcalf pairs very well with obviously defense up um, and he probably needs a, a block debuff champion to really perform well but uh, let's check out um, how I built him here so I kind of have him doing double duty so this is my iron twins build 281 um, defense not as high as I want um, these are really hard stats to actually achieve um, I have some gear that's not fully rolled up so this is more like you know it's obvious it's not a mid game build it's more like you know obviously late game end game build because stone skin you're at 281 speed um, but you see my stats are not like insanely high um, it's actually hard to reach this with the stone skin um, so um, so I have him in this. We'll take him for a spin. He's kind of doing double duty. 281 is like not super fast for live arena, but it works for my Iron Twins build. And 281 should be a uh, pretty serviceable speed. You want him fast so he can get around to his block damage as soon as possible. And um, yeah, you want him to do damage. So obviously 100% crit rate with good crit damage. Masteries, I have him sitting with... Um, War Master, which was um, more of a clan boss build, uh, but you definitely want to take Helm Smasher if if um, you're gonna go down full arena nuke nukeage type build. So that would be my suggestion for him. I'm just gonna keep him in War Master for now. Okay, so let's try him out in the live arena. I'm on my second account, which has been heavily neglected. You see, I'm starting to decay a bit. Um, I'm in, in silver one, so we'll just hop in and do some battles, and then I'll try to pick Helicath to showcase uh, as often as I can. So Helicath comes out as more of um, more like a counter 
um or you kind of pick him when there's no um uko uko is the main counter to um to hellcat so as long as uko is not on the um not on the field then hellcat can be a good pick um and like i said it would really handcuff your opponent um so he's picking hellcat actually so um Kind of weird that he would pick Hellcat, but that's fine. Um, could go like you know, like we go a lot. He doesn't. He has one sheep, one star sheep here. Um, I'm not gonna pick Rotos yet. Um, I don't really have much here. One, two, three. I like cardio. I might ban Hellcath, but it really depends. He has a Cleanser, Duchess, so his supports are probably picks, so he needs another DPS. Okay, give it a try. Mithral is actually a decent counter to Hellcath, so I don't really think picking Mithr uh, picking uh, Hellcath here is uh, um, that good, but I want to pick him just to showcase him. Um, Never a good time with the UDK, so. Okay. Ban Uko. That's correct. Correct pick, right? Ban Uko. Did we pick pick her off? Yes, got her. Okay, Rodos has the A2, which can kill Helicath. Might just be able to kill him right now. Boom, GG. Oh, I got the increased defense from the um, from the removal of the shield. So that was pretty nice of um I mean Hellcath wasn't the star of the show of course wasn't much of a fight but we'll just uh we'll do another fight here. All right, sorry about that guys. Um I picked my team, I did a fight and I totally didn't even um I totally didn't even pick Hellcath. So we still want to showcase Hellcath. So I'll edit that fight out. And I have to remember to pick Hellcath. I think, yeah, Hellcath with Cardio Mithrala is probably a decent combo because Hellcath works better with the defense up. Um, I don't, you know, there's that's gonna be a problem. There's not too many good defense ups unless you have Sifi. Uh, but Mithrala is actually a very decent, you know, obviously a very good champion, and she has defense up, so um, definitely can. Um, Definitely can can pick Mithrala. Um, I mean, I don't know why you would start with Rodos, but if you start with Rodos, you just go UDK, and that forces him into a into a removal. UDK is like you have to remove him against Rodos, unless your second DPS is. I don't know something else that can chew through him or lots of AOE or whatever, but just Rodos is gonna take too long to kill UDK. 
unless you have like something insane but I have to remember to pick Hellcath <laughs> that's the key also Hellcath works extremely well with UDK because he places a two turn block block damage on UDK UDK starts soaking up all that damage but because UDK is so slow the two turns never wear off fast enough um he doesn't have sheep so i mean it's kind of like open season for for uko um i'll probably take my bolster set in still maybe but i have to remember to take helicath so i'll take helicath um, it might not be the best pick to be honest. I kind of feel like Uko and Mithrala would be very strong here, but how about I go Uko and Hellcast? Hellcast and like I said, um, UDK work extremely well. I lose the bolster set, but I do have the block damage, so. So his DPS are already chosen. He has to pick two supports to deal with this. Wow, he has a Warlord too. I mean, we have to deal with the Warlord, so we'll remove that. Gonna ban probably the UDK. Maybe Uko, he doesn't have a single sheep. Like, Uko's gonna have a field day here. Unless he has a bolster set. He might have a bolster set and that kind of blocks out Uko. Hard to say. But he has like some serious um, things he needs to get rid of, right? UDK, Halakath, yeah, UDK. So, he probably goes first, but then he's going to go right into Duchess. And then his Nukers probably won't be faster than my Rotos. So then I'll still get the block, block damage up. Hopefully, um, we don't die <laughs> to like Rotos A3 or something. But we do have Haruma, which um, shuts down uh, Rotos quite a bit. Nice. Okay. Get the strip. Nice. Oh, what? What was that? He couldn't even kill this Uko? Wow. That was nasty. He couldn't even kill Uko. Still got full revive here, right? Yeah. Get that big shield. Not really a big shield, but might be enough. Uh, kill this guy. Ah, this kind of sucks. Kill this guy. Provoke, nice. Ah, GG. Nice. Hellcath worked out pretty well. He kept everybody alive. Um, did a little bit of damage, but obviously my, my nukers came through there. Um, yeah, let's do another fight. Have to remember to pick Hellcath. <laughs> um, I think at the highest level, Hellcath still works okay. Um, but... Uh, Obviously, it won't be like super, super ideal, but I know he will handcuff um, some uh, some matchups for sure. Um, I guess he goes first. We could pick our own Arbiter, but I want to pick Hellcast, so I guess we go for a go second. Um... 
Tormund. Tormund's pretty good here. We go Tormund. I mean, we could go Tormund, Hegemon, Helicath with Rotos. You might go like triple speed, triple booster, speed booster. I've seen this before. Arbiter, Kaimar, Sifi. And then he's guaranteed to have a speed lead with the secondary booster. And Kaimar can be uh, especially annoying if he doesn't get sheeped. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, I mean, Hellcat definitely uh, jumped up in value for Live Arena. So if you guys have him, definitely um, invest in him, build him out. If you guys use him for Iron, Iron Twins, you guys can use the same build. Like I use this Stone Skin uh, Helicath for Iron Twins. Just have to be at the right speed. Never experienced this before where the player ran out of time and his picks are still spinning. Makes me think that I disconnected. Kind of weird, especially on video. Um, yeah. So, I'm going to pick Helicath. Uh, Mithral is basically here just for the um, bolster set. Um, ah, he banned him. That sucks. <laughs> Damn, that sucks. Got a feeling. Um, okay, let's see what happens. That sucks. Uh, let's play this out. Let's play this out. Okay. Low. Yeah, fully is can't be CC'd. Um, but he can still be stunned by the stun set, so. Yeah. Alright, let's find another match. Get one good. Hellcat Showcase. Let's go. That's kind of weird. I was like, what? I've never seen this before. <clears throat> Gotta remember to pick Helicath. So Hellcat would be kind of not so great against against Harma because obviously uh, affinity stuff. Uh, no, sorry, his uh, he's weak to her passive, so <clears throat> he's gonna pick uh, UDK. We ban UDK, and it's just I don't know what kind of team this is, but it should be interesting. Hopefully, he doesn't ban Hellcat. What is this team? I 
So he bans Hellcath. It's like, <laughs> okay, sure. Okay. But basically, you guys can see that Hellcath gets. He, they have to do something about dealing with him or. Or, um. Yeah. Or they basically. He gets banned, right? He gets banned all the time, so. Let's try again. One more time. Let's try again. Just trying to get a good fight here <laughs> with Hellcat. Okay. Get a good fight with Hellcat. Kaimar. So instantly it's kind of like bad, right? Okay. Like Kaimar is like not good enough to like ban. Uh could go Tormin. See like I wouldn't necessarily pick Hellcath in this matchup, but yeah, I would probably just pick like Tormin or something. Wouldn't necessarily pick Hellcast, but we'll just do it for the showcase. But Hellcast's one of those champions that forces a response or a ban. So in this case, I wouldn't be surprised if he banned Hellcast, which is good. Obviously, it still protects like some of our like high value champions. Um. He might ban Hellcath here. Arma, okay. Okay, this is fine. Okay. I mean, it's not super fine, but it's okay. My cardio probably won't resist Kaimar. It's just not built super, super strong for resistance. Yikes. Unfortunately, the Hellcath was, um, um, okay, now I can do it. Okay. Yeah. If the stone skin still stuck, wow, faster, my team is just faster, even with his Arbiter boost. So Hex, yeah. He attacks anybody, he's probably going to get hexed or get hit by the counterattacks from the shields. So like right now, this is like an impenetrable defense. And he's going to lose the fight. There you go. Basically GG from here. His Arbor is not going to get a turn. But you guys get the get the idea, right? The fast Hellcat definitely was very important. Just locks basically locks them out, can't do anything. And then your one DPS just finishes them off. Like we had two DPS with Hellcat. So if you guys are basically playing live arena, you guys won't pick Hellcat as your secondary D, uh, DPS. He's basically like a like a third DPS. Um but obviously he has a lot of support in his kit. But uh yeah. He gives your 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 real DPS a chance to win. But uh, yeah, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Uh, a little bit bumpy on the uh, the fights, uh, just because uh, most people ban ban Hellcat. So like I said, like he forces a re forces a response or he gets straight up banned. Um, but in some ways, it's a good thing because it allows your other champions to come in, right? 
um but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed uh some of the fights um some of the some of the showcases of hellcat's abilities and how it handicaps a lot of people especially in live arena um he's obviously very good in clan boss and iron twins so if you guys need him for there um there's definitely some builds that work for him um in those areas as well and he's just general strong carry ev everywhere um but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed the video let me know what you guys think in the comments below um, and i'll see you guys in the next video